Predictive text is actually an easier thing to program than you might think. I think of it as a very simple form of artificial intelligence, because like all forms of AI, it needs to be trained by a lot of data in order to be useful. Here's a simple explanation for how predictive text works. If I'm a computer, and I see the text, I like to travel. I like to play soccer. I play the piano. I can learn many things from this text without even thinking about its meaning. I would store data for how each word is placed in these sentences. I would create a list of words that I see in this text and store information about what words immediately follow each word. So after looking at the first sentence, my data structure might look something like this. The word I is followed by the word like. The word like is followed by the word to. To is followed by travel. And travel has a period at the end of it. And then the next word that gets read in is the word I, which is actually part of the second sentence. Now when we read the next sentence of training data into the computer, you'll notice there are some words we've already dealt with. In that case, we simply store them in the list where they already exist. For example, the word I is already followed by the word like from our first sentence of training data. So we have the word like twice in that list. The word like is also followed by the word to again. Therefore, we have the word to twice in that list. But this time, after the word to, we have the word play. So we have two words that can follow the word to. We have travel and play. And then finishing up the rest of that sentence, we have soccer following play and I following soccer. And now let's train it on the last sentence. The final state of our data structure looks like this. Now that we've trained our computer, if I asked it to make a sentence starting with the word I, it could look at all the possible words that could follow I, choose one, then look at all the words that follow that word, choose one, and so on. For example, it could say I, then choose like, then it would look up the word like, and it would choose the word to, because that's the only option. And then it would look up the word to, and it might choose the word travel. And just like that, it's able to completely reconstruct one of the sentences it was fed, which was, I like to travel. But here's the cool part. The computer is actually learning some very important rules of sentence structure that we didn't even have to teach it. Just by looking at those three sentences, the computer is capable of creating a fourth sentence that is not even part of the original training. It could very easily construct the sentence, I like to play the piano. Take a moment to let that sink in. As a programmer, we didn't have to tell the computer any of the grammar rules of the English language. All we did was give it some examples of correct sentences and tell it how to use that information to construct its own sentences. That is AI in its most basic form. What do you think would happen if we fed this program, say, a million sentences of training data? How smart do you think it would be? For the next coding assignment, we're going to find out.